Hi there, welcome to this video from Stylish Live. Today we're going to demonstrate how easy it is to connect third-party applications, sensors and devices to the Stylish Live Web Triggers API. Web Triggers, as the name suggests, is a way to trigger content over the internet. With Web Triggers, you simply need to set up interrupts on your Stylish Live players. This will pre-cache the content ready for you to trigger. Within the Web Triggers application, you can group your players so you can trigger individual and single players. Web Triggers allows third parties to create applications using our API. Alternatively, you can trigger within our user interface, or you can use third party applications, such as what we're going to demonstrate today, which is Button. Button is a physical button. It's a Wi Fi connected button that allows you to trigger third party services to do actions. So you can trigger things such as if this, then that, Zapier, email, or as we're going to demonstrate, APIs. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how we set up Button to connect to our API and then give you a quick demonstration of it actually triggering. So here we've already added our button to um, the button interface. We click Action. Within the Action you can see we've already set HTTP. We've added the API URL, the post data type, and the data that's going to get sent over to our, to our API. We simply click Save and hit the button. And once that's connected out to the web, the screen behind me will all trigger. As you can see here, we've got a nice fire alarm. To build your own power-ups and integrations with web triggers and some of our other APIs, please visit build.sunnislive.com. Thank you very much.